good and welcome to my channel. Well, I thought I'd cover a couple of more mess kits for you and um, cover, um, you know, a few things in between while we're going over these uh, mess kits. These are um, like a British pattern. This is a, a reproduction British one. And this is a Danish, I believe, mess kit. It's a KL-77. Danish or Netherlands? <clears throat> I'll have to look that up. I'll put the right description underneath there. But anyways, this one is a military one, and this is a repo one that's supposed to be like a military one. Both of them are aluminum or aluminum. And uh, the difference between is this, this one is a little bit smaller, and this one is a little bit bigger. Now, what I like about them right off is something that you don't think about much on mess kits, but I'll have to demonstrate it for you. All right, these handles have folded out of the way. That. I mean, you can you can toast things on it. Try that in a kidney. Try that in a kidney thing. You're going to wind up with kidney-shaped bread. Is really pretty much the only way you can do that. I mean, so bread is cheap. You can carry it with you last you know if you go camping or everything a lot of times you want to make a sandwich or something or toast something well with one of these kind of mess kits it's easy i mean you have access you can do it with a czechoslovakian kit that's round you know that one too if you get the bigger pan but i mean most mess kits won't let you do that it won't have that ability so i thought that was one kind of advantage right there um this one is sturdier all right so it's Danish. I got it on my little notes right here. So the complete Danish set weighs 421 grams or 0.928 pounds or 14.85 ounces. The small tray weighs 197 grams or 0.434 pounds, 0.695 ounces. And the large tray weighs 224 grams or 0.94 pounds or 7.90 ounces. The wall thickness on this one is 1.65 to 2 millimeters. It kind of varies, you know, around it. And uh, that equals out to, uh, on average, 0 0.065 inches. All right, the, the difference is, and I'll, get, I'll give the uh, physical dimensions on this after I give the weights. The difference on this one is, this British cook set, the whole thing, even though it's bigger, it only weighs 0 0.828 pounds, or 375 grams, or 13.25 ounces for the whole kit. The small tray weighs 176 grams, or 0 0.388 pounds, or 6.20 ounces. The large tray weighs 199 grams, 0 0.39, I mean, point. 439 pounds or 7 ounces and the wall thickness is 1.3 millimeters or 0 0.05 inches so that's the difference on that because this wall thickness is thinner this kit even though it's bigger weighs less all right now the british cook set the small tray is 100 i mean 16.7 centimeters long 13. Point six centimeters wide and 5.7 centimeters high. I didn't convert these to inches. Sorry. Uh, the Danish cook set, the small tray is 16.2 centimeters long, 12.5 centimeters wide, 5.2 centimeters high. Large tray is 18 centimeters long, 13.5 centimeters wide or 5. Point there, I'll put this up on here so you can see it. Let me get this guy to focus. There you go. And then here are the other measurements and weights for you right there. So, right away, I like that on this on this system. You know, that you can put bread in there. You have a lot of room. You have two trays. Both have a handle. And um, there's the ability to do this, which is like you've got a Dutch oven or ability to bake right there. The... I've seen that they say the way you should, like you would think you would put like this and cook it over the fire, but they don't recommend that because what you're cooking on a lot of times, unless you're using something, all right, like ethanol, you know, like alcohol fuel probably, but the smoke and everything else will go up in here if you're putting it on a fire and it'll flavor your food, which, you know, may or may not be bad. I know we have mesquite flavor food here you know from the mesquite tree so it's not bad but these are pretty good and like i said 
Um, even though this one's a little bit smaller, this right here is that uh, French canteen cover. And it fits in there perfectly. It slides right in. You can snap it. It fits on your belt. So, I mean, you've got a cook set on one side. You can have a canteen on the other. The British one won't fit in there. I think it's too big. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, you can use this, you know, webbing or hook it up. These are not exactly like American standard from what I was finding. They're a little bit smaller diameter if you try to put it on a, an American web belt. So there you go. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up is about comments. I try to respond to and answer all the comments on my uh, channel, but uh, YouTube hides them from you. I, I'm, I swear I'm not making this up. Uh, I do most of my videos on the cell phone. And Android, and I use you know the YouTube app, and I use YouTube Studio, and then when I'm uploading videos, I have to go to the desktop site, but I do none of this on a computer. Well, YouTube will sit there and show you the number of comments you know on on the video, and you respond to them, and you think everything's cool, and then later on you go and check, and there had been comments made days before. That it did not show up as, you know, at there at all. So what I do when I see a comment is I put a like and a heart by it. And that what that lets you know is I've seen your comment. And usually I try to respond to it and give some kind of answer or some kind of comment to that. And that's one of the advantages of a smaller channel is you can do that. But uh, when it gets bigger, it's harder to do. Anyways, I'm going to keep, I'm going to try to keep doing that. But if I don't respond to your comment or I don't, uh, put a heart or a like by it, um, you know, within a certain amount of time, then that comment's hidden. So if you're asking me a question, just repeat it again, and hopefully I'll find it. But I have to, ch I check through YouTube apps, uh, studio. I check through it on check all comments and held for review and it won't show up. And I check on the regular, you know, like the YouTube, uh, video app, um, app where you're looking on your phone and it doesn't show up and I'll go to the desktop and I'll check and then all of a sudden boom here's a bunch of comments that <laughs> like I found one um, on a video today from 11 months ago somebody made a comment that you know like where's this been hiding for 11 months anyway just that that little rambling and uh, as far as like the giveaway that's gonna happen this month I'll put out a video and uh, explain, you know, how to enter and everything, but it's basically going to be open to any subscriber anywhere in the world. <laughs> you know, I mean, as far as I'm going to try to cover shipping, so <clears throat> basically if I, if I get outside the United States, it's going to cost me more for this, but to me it's worth it because... Um, <clears throat> Europeans, you know, they get so many restrictions on stuff, you know, like maybe this particular knife won't be, you know, will be widely available here, but it's not available at all over in Europe. And then when they do get it, it's like triple the price, you know, and then they have to pay import, you know, customs and all that. And it just goes crazy. So I wanted to give people in Europe a chance or, you know, overseas uh, a chance, not just Europe, but overseas a chance you know or outside the continental united states a chance at you know this just like anybody else and the other good thing about a small channel is you have a better chance of winning your odds are better statistically because not every subscriber is going to enter the uh giveaway so there's that but i just wanted to give you that little update throw in a couple of mess kits here and uh we'll get back to knives when i can think of a knife thing to talk about but for right now i don't have any knives coming in and <clears throat> yeah so it'll just have to be some of these will have to make guest appearances again or something you know like sunny the sunfish or where is he's hiding around always happy lonely cracky so yeah there you go um hope you enjoyed that and for those of you that are, you know, looking at this and saying, hey, um, mess kits on a knife channel, you know, what the hell? 
or they're wondering what the hell's going on? Why aren't there any knives? Sometimes I do mess kits. Sometimes I do knives. Sometimes I do both. Most of the time I do knives. That's the majority of what I do in here. <clears throat> so anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Sorry for rambling on so long. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot of walking today. Kind of wet. Just a little.